Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today we're blasting Chicago's cyanide, death, doom, and destruction. The best $8.99 I have ever spent when it comes to vinyl. Hell's Headbangers Black Friday sale is something to really look forward to. So let's rage some war with these fucking maniacs that are cyanide. Hails to Mike and company just for being one of the heaviest bands in U.S. death metal. And you also, if you get the box set version, you get the Truth 7-inch on a 12-inch along with the Rage War 1996 demo, which is fucking awesome. And there's a cool color scheme too, like uh, this LP silver, the other one's gold. It's badass because like the font's gold and whatnot. And then on this side, it's more, you know, silvery. But this right here explains it all. Death metal. Fuck yeah. I love cyanide. If you watch this channel, you obviously know that. And Hell's Headbangers is doing another reissue, but it's like a triple LP. I know it's going to be expensive as fuck, and I hope I can get my fucking hands on it. But I love all my Cyanide records. I'm pretty much only missing like two. And uh, yeah, but Death, Doom, and Destruction, it's just a great record. I can't kiss its ass enough and I love the alternative artwork as well like it's just fucking dope <laughs> like seriously hails the hell he hell's headbangers for just being fucking rad and I've been meaning to go over this and I kept thinking I did it already but I did sacrifice but this is ruin lust choir of Babel Whoa, bestial fucking death metal? How is that possible? Well, all you have to do is throw Choir of Babel on 20 bucks spin records and you will find out what makes these New York maniacs tick as not only do they have some of the most talented individuals in the underground from Vanum to fucking yellow eyes and then you have a project like this it's just like holy fuck so good this was my album of the year so far up until that internal rot came a knocking and it knocked this back a little bit but this is still it's so fucking good it's only five tracks but those five tracks are all killer, zero filler, it's just a fucking banger. From the title track, The Choir of Babel, Prison of Sentient Horror, Worm, Bestial Magnetism, and A Rite of Binding. And the artwork here, I really love it, it's super fucking just sick, like that collage it's just badass and like if you look real close like you'll see sets of teeth and just all sorts of fucked up shit and I love this type of art if you ever follow me on Instagram you might notice like a lot of my stuff is stickered up in a collage form <laughs> I mean just fucking look behind me this is something I've been kind of OCD about since I was a wee lad like I always had to have stickers on shit and then I would work around the stickers or like I would cut a photo of Matt Hoffman out of a magazine and then like put it on my binder and then like make sure I got like Hoffman bike stickers and like you know made my own Hoffman bikes like advertisement and this just kind of reminds me of those times, especially with that little bike link. 
but that, that's beyond the fucking point. This right here is one of the most savage releases you're probably going to hear all year. Like, I mean, this is night and day between a release like Internal Rot, but like, trust me, Ruin Lust, don't fuck around. Like, Sacrifice, their release before this is one of my favorites in my entire collection. I don't have the LP. I actually have the self-titled cassette, which I actually snagged when I saw Yellow Eyes last with Vanum. It was like fucking five bucks. I was like, oh shit. Like, because I, I knew that Sentient Ruin had the LP out and when I saw the cassette for just like five bucks, I was like, oh fuck yeah. And if you watch my year end video, I'm very confused if, you know, this counts as a 2019 release as it was recorded in 2014, but then wasn't mixed until 2017. So, I was kind of confused, but it's all gravy because Sacrifice and Choir of Babel, just, fuck yeah. And, like, I'm pretty sure the release before this is just self-titled, but, like, their form of death metal, it's just something that's very hard to describe, and I saw that 20 Buck Spin was calling it Bestial Death Metal. I mean, normally, it's bestial black death. And don't get me wrong, there's like some elements on here that definitely are in the blackened category. But this is mostly fucking pretty much like just absolute sonic poison when it comes to its savage death metal assault. Like, pretty much... You know how on a bestial, like, Black Death record from, let's just say, like, the new Profane Order record. Imagine those types of vocals with more death metal riffs over anything else. And one of the coolest drum sounds in the fucking game. Like, Choir of Babel... The cosmetics also absolutely gorgeous, as you should expect from a 20 buck spin release. I love their logo as well, like the, the fucking chains and shit. I just think it's fucking super badass, and I dig it. It's also on the cassette, that's what I was trying to get out. But, uh, I forget what you know, variant this is, but 33 RPMs of just fucking killer, killer New York tunes of death. Ruin Lust are one of those bands that kind of sound like no one else. I mean, Ruin Lust sound like Ruin Lust, and it's fucking awesome because... I don't hear that many bands that are this fucking savage sounding. Like, I know I use that word a lot, but it's legit like a fucking... Just a punch in the face of gnarliness. And I love it. I fucking love this release right here. And it's something that... With each listen, it kind of, you know will expose more of itself to you, if that makes any sense. Because there's a lot of, you know, lyrical content here and stuff that's in kind of like a different language and in characters. And a lot of it's like, kind of a, like legit, it's like almost like a puzzle. So following along, it's kind of hard sometimes, and at the same time, it's fucking awesome. Like, I really just am beyond impressed with 
The whole entire Ruin Lust aesthetic, I think it's fucking awesome. It's something more death metal bands out there need to, you know, grasp. It's, you know, hey, we don't all, you know, need to be fucking knuckle-dragging, you know, wearing mortician shirts or whatever else is fucking popular. Like, because I, I, I go through a lot of bands, and... Don't get me wrong, I, I love myself a good incantation clone. But at the same time, I'd rather just listen to incantation. But you have a band like Ruin Lust, and when I compare it to something, I just draw a blank. The only thing I think of as, after blasting Choir of Babel is let me listen to Sacrifice. It's so fucking good! And another thing that they kind of tie with both of these releases together, and I'm sure with the self-title as well, instead of just, you know, saying recorded by and whatnot, branded upon the flesh of history by S. Bennett, M. Revkias, and J. Wilson. And this was recorded and mixed by Travis Bacon and mastered by Andrew Oswald. That's the Sacrifice cassette. But the Choir of Babel full length was branded upon the flesh of history by S. Bennett, M. Revkinis, and J. Wilson. Also recorded and mixed this time 2018 by Travis Bacon and mastered by the mighty Dan Lowndes at Renaissance Sound Studio. Fuck yeah. But Choir Babble is five tracks of just absolute awesome, savage, bestial death metal. And like I was saying, the cosmetics on the LP are absolutely gorgeous and fucking sick. I really like how at first, I thought this was actually, like, a sticker. I was, like... <laughs> I, I was trying to, like, pick at it. And I was, like, oh, fuck. Like, that's not a sticker. So I'm glad I didn't, you know, cause any damage. But it's not like it would take away from how good these fucking five tunes are. But, you know, 20 bucks spins one of those labels that when it comes to underground music, a lot of their bands these days they kind of run together where a band like ruin lust are completely on their own and just have a sound of their own which i feel is just top tier and like not above everyone else in the death metal scene because like the term bestial death metal i'm still a tad confused by it, but I understand, because there's no other way to really explain something this fucking gnarly sounding besides bestial. So, it's definitely more death metal than anything else, and it fucking rules. New York's Ruin Lust Choir of Babel on 20 Buck Spin Records. Fuck. Yeah. Thank you, John Randall, for helping me out with this. Killer, killer fucking release right here. Seriously awesome. And if you've never heard Sacrifice, try and get your hands on both of these. I know Sentient Ruin has the LP of Sacrifice. The band might have some cassette versions left. I know it's a DIY release, so they might not. But Choir of Babel by Rowan Lust, that's a fucking 9 out of 10. It's just everything, you know, when it comes to underground extreme music, I feel like it channels so much from, like, the underground and just puts it all in one place, but it never feels crowded. It just feels like 
fucking taking a sledgehammer and just breaking a car window. Like that satisfactory, like it's, it's a very, very satisfying listen. That's what I was trying to get at. It's as satisfying as, you know, when you throw a bottle and you're just waiting to hear that glass shatter. That's exactly the feeling you get when you listen to Ruin Lust, Choir of Babel, 20 bucks spin records. Get on this. Trust me. If you're a fan of extreme music, you're gonna fucking love that fucking album. Trust me. And we were blasting Chicago's Cyanide, Death, Doom, and Destruction. Hell's Headbangers reissue. Awesome fucking record here. Now, let's definitely know The Dying Truth from 1992. It's, you know, not as doomy and whatnot, but it's fucking a lot more, like, upbeat bolt thrower. It's fucking sick. Seriously, some of the best Midwestern death metal in the game hails from... The fellas and cyanide. Mike, you're the fucking dude. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hells.